In today's video, I'm gonna give you my top six tips to make your relocation as smooth as possible. Hey guys, Andy Howell here, local real estate agent here in the Columbus market and all around Columbus enthusiast. Today, I wanted to talk about top six relocation tips. But before we get into the video, please reach down, hit that subscribe button. We've been making cool videos, I think they're cool, all about Columbus, what it's like to live here, the hip, cool things that are happening, and subscribe and learn, right? So, what are my top six tips? Well. Whether you're moving across the country, across the state, uh, across the city, or even just a mile down the neighborhood, relocating can be a little bit tricky. And so you gotta do everything in you, that you can to help tilt, tilt or stack the deck in your favor. So I wanted to give you some tips. The first is gonna be employment. Uh, whether you've just been approved for remote employment or you're changing jobs or maybe even you're changing careers, it's going to be really important that you engage with the lender very early in the process so you can know of any potential speed bumps, hiccups that you need to be aware of. So uh, speak with the lender very early. A lot of times I'm seeing lenders ask for a letter or at least a statement that your job hasn't been affected by COVID and I don't know anybody who can say that their jobs have not been affected by COVID, even if your kids are just even, you know, schooling at home and you're trying to balance Zoom calls and uh, teach your kid how to type or something like that. So speak with the lender early in the process to avoid any potential hiccups and roadblocks. Number two is going to be where are you going to stay when you get here? Uh, and let me back that up a little bit. If you can, go move to the area before you purchase. Plan to spend a month or two with your boots on the ground, getting a feel for the neighborhoods in the city, the, what the different quality of life, what the lifestyle is in the different neighborhoods. It's really important. GoPro and FaceTime house showings are cool and they work as a last resort, but it's always better to get your boots on the ground to touch and feel the community and just spend some time there before you move. If you can't, at least try to visit the area, spend a weekend, uh, would be a second resort. Where are you gonna stay, right? So there are a couple different options. You can stay at a, like an extended stay hotel. Those do tend to be a little bit pricey. So plan for that if that's, your, if that's what you intend to do. Another option would be a short-term rental. Typically these are a little bit more expensive than say a, a, a year-long lease because you're paying for the convenience of that short-term lease. Kind of a sneaky option though might be an Airbnb long-term rental. Hosts and super hosts of Airbnb, business is different than it was in 2019. I mean, people aren't traveling as much. These hosts probably aren't as, they don't have as much occupancy as they did. So they might be more open to a longer term, a three week, four week, six week, two month Airbnb lease. Um, highly recommend you check that out. It could be a good option for you. Number three is gonna be communication. With any real estate transaction, communication is super important, but it becomes magnified with a relocation. You are likely going to be dealing with two real estate agents, your home sale and your home purchase. How to work with those, both of those real estate agents need to communicate together. They've got to be matchmakers. They've got to get the two title companies to speak together because things happen, timing changes, and without this communication, it's just it's just not going to be successful. A lot of things can go wrong. So you're picking your real estate agent. Two, you don't have to use your your company's relocation specialist. Uh, I would recommend that you work with somebody you feel like you can jive with personality-wise. Uh, somebody that you feel like you know, you like, you trust, and uh, because I think you're gonna be happier at the end of the day. But again, the most important thing is that everybody's communicating and that's gonna really make for a successful transaction. Now fourth, how to work with somebody who knows how to structure a competitive bid. This is not HDTV, that is just not real life. These lowball offers, they are not the reality right now. I mean, 
to give you kind of the reality of here in Columbus anyway, we're an extreme seller's market. Most of the country is in an extreme seller's market. Here in Columbus, we have less than one month of inventory of homes. And to give you some perspective, it's said that a balance between a buyer's and seller's market is about six months of inventory. So us under one month of inventory, not gonna work in this market. And uh, like asking for the seller to pay for your closing costs, that's not a thing right now. I, I get it though. People, you wanna keep as much money as you can in your pocket and I completely agree, but that's just not a reality in this market. So you need, need to work, work with an agent who has a good rapport with the other agents, can kind of find out what a competitive offer might look like. And uh, at least for me, I call the other agents and build rapport and try to, hopefully I've worked with them before, uh, but just try to ask either pointed questions or questions around what the other offers might look, look like and in an effort to educate you, the buyer, on how to structure a winning offer. Not everything's price. It could be terms. It could be that they need to stay for an extra month in the property and actually rent the property back from you. Whatever it is, it's really important that you find out and that you work with that agent who is, has success and has shown a track record of winning these multiple bid situations. Now, fifth is you have to work with a local lender. And believe me, I get it. I've been kind of sucked in by these teaser uh, internet teaser rates and terms and you know that's not always reality. I've seen it happen so much where somebody's working with an internet based lender, they're out of the area, maybe they're not familiar with how business is done and it just it tends to be easier. I think you will be more successful working with a local lender. I know my lender, shout out to Dean at Fairway Lending, Fairway Mortgage. If I ask him, he'll reach out and speak with the listing agent directly, saying, you know, the strength of this buyer and uh, what it's like to work with me and everything like that. This is super important and it's really in this market, it is the little things that all add up to be big things. Again, you wanna take any tilt you can. You wanna get the deck stacked in your favor in this market. So. All these little things add up to hopefully be big things. Sixth is the timing roadmap. Now, you're trying to coordinate a lot of different things and hopefully you're gonna take my advice, you're going to move to the area first and kind of get a feel for it with your boots on the ground. And if you do that, I would say you're gonna need about 30 to 60, hopefully not 90 days uh, to find that home. You're probably gonna have to bid on several homes before you get that one winning offer because it is so competitive. Many places are getting five, 10, 20 offers. So uh, you're just gonna have to get in there. You're gonna have to try several times. So allow that time. If you're scheduled to close on your home um, in 30 days that you're relocating from, allow a few extra days because things happen, right? There's delays, there's chances are your transaction, your home sale, is contingent upon the, your buyers selling their home. And then it's just like a domino effect going up the chain. So allow a few extra days if you can. Be patient, be, uh, be flexible, most of all. So guys, those are my top tips. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions about what it's like to live here in Columbus, any questions specifically about relocation, any questions about me, any questions at all, feel free to call, text, email, drop a comment below if you like the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, hey, gonna say how I feel.